Greetings everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaiser Redux in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Polish nation, the Kingdom of Poland. But we have, uh, let's talk about Germany abandons Poland. Of course it is, of course, May 17th, 1936, not January. In the wake of a Black Monday crisis that has crippled the German nation, the German protectorate of Poland has managed to slip away. This too many was a long time coming as German influence in the state had been waning for some time, however. The recent events were the final straw, but right, uh, Regency, yeah. Officially declared full independence from Germany earlier today, something that has largely gone unnoticed abroad. However, Germany has not decided, to, decided not to take action, seeing to focus on German domestic issues over Poland. So now we are kind of free from German influence, and we got a lot of political power. And of course, this is a guide to get the certain group here, because country and the cha uh, chaos on the countryside. After the collapse of the government in Poland, various factions have risen up and are vying for control of the country. Both the communists and the nationalists are strong enough to take over the Polish cities and countryside. With the remaining authorities skeptical of their own ability to remain or retain what the power they've left, mostly given up. Do we want the communist party to take over? With the Rosa Luxemburg, huh? Adolf Worski, uh, we have the OWP Starzy, the great camp of great Poland takes over, or in a turn of events, unexpected by anyone, the LOP. And the LOP is over here with the camp of Great Poland, the Young and National Democrats, which actually is almost the exact same thing. Oh, the Starzy, which are a bunch of uh, authoritarian Democrats, but... Oh! What you look at that? Rado Odrodznienia Polski. Apologize, but I have no idea how to speak Polish whatsoever. So we did the Great Debate. The Regency Council continues to its endless debate on who shall be elected to the next King of Poland. But we're born through faith. For after many years of waiting and careful planning, the Polish Rebirth League has wrested control, control from the Traitors Regency Council and is now ready to start the process of transforming Poland into a Christian state. I want to remove uh, some stuff here. So, we get more popularity of national populism, which is great. We remove despised Regency. Of course, we have also Austrian German squabbles. And then effects of Black Monday. So, it is what it is. Um, so, we'll get the Rebirth League, which would be great. Temporal Rift. Well, we'll see what happens. Because so, after this one... Uh, also, this is one of the meme paths for Kaiser Redux as well. Um, a letter for Dobosinski. Integrate the Patriots. Not bad, that's really good. Holy crap, that's very strong. Convince Chadisha. A lot of political power. Cleanse the Whites and Reds. Condemn Teuton Heresy. Ooh. And defend the newborn state. Partial mobilization. Which is, and you get extensive conscription. But we'll probably convince the Chadisha. Which, I, like I said, I don't speak Polish at all. While our movement was always seen as a fringe radicals, or rad seals. We've much in common with the Christian, Democrat, and moderate Catholic groups. If we, we have to convince them to give us their full support of Poland to be fully, truly reborn. And there goes the UBD, which is fine. We don't really care. As long as no one else wants to try to fight us, we'll be fine. Now, hopefully, we can hold out against the Germans. I was thinking about doing this campaign and just doing, um... Oh, there goes Malta. Uh, getting, like... Oh, the Second Soviet Russian Republic. Uh, just a lot of defense and just hold out against the Reich's Pact. Or even Austria, or the Donau Ejibun, basically, what it would be, Austro-Hungarian Empire, so. We will see. I want to get the extra political power every single day, though, first. Cleanse the Whites and Reds. He was a, almost 200,000 manpower, which is actually kind of insane. And he gets 3% stability. Teutonic stuff. Partial mobilization immediately would be pretty darn nice. Or as fast as possible, as well. Then again, we get more daily political power if we do this first. So cleanse the Whites and Reds. The monarchists and cynicalist menaces are a scourge on our beautiful land, not only that. They also defile our flag by using the names of whites and reds. They have to be cleansed from our nation. The white son of China? If, oh, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Quite an adventure. That's a different picture than I remember. Um. Whoa! Whoa! That fired really early. I did not mess around with any sort of rules, too, by the way, for that type of stuff, too. Um, you know, in the meantime. We have the army XP for this. Just to make them big and fat. Because I do want to make these guys pretty large. I love engineers probably too much. They're really good for defense. Um, I just want to increase the amount of manpower that we'll need. 1800. So that'll be good. There was a war once again. That was very early. Because we're going to lose 200,000 manpower anyways. So you might as well spend it for now. Up next, better fighters. Sure, why not. Death of TG Masayark. And of course we still have Flex Black, Flex Black Monday. But you know what, that's okay. Monarchy restored in Greece or wherever else. We don't really care what, where. And keep training because you can. Wow. I did not expect it to fire that fast. That's actually really good for us. So hopefully they don't want to mess with us at all. Convince this group. Do very good. And keep training. Keep making more stuff. Because I don't want to lose any manpower, but you know what? If we have to, we'll do what we can. 
Yeah, sympathy from Christian groups. It's always good. A little more stability, a little more month population, but I'll fat 0.25 political power every day. If it gets above one, that'd be pretty nice. A religious, a fundamentalist, huh? Nice. We love religious fundamentalism here. Oh. Thirty oh no, these guys have hundred percent worse board. No stability. And fifty seven percent worse board. Alright. Now we got that done. Fans are up. Whites and reds. Very nice. Auto deploy them so we can use up even more manpower immediately. If you want to go with the Mal Mal and the Jackals, uh, please go right ahead. Very nice. Very nice. Ah, over one a day. Alright, so after that, I do want to get down here. As much as I want to do this stuff, I'll condemn Teton Heresy. The Teutonic Germanic race has always been a blood on humankind. The heresy was clear from the exact moment their knights attacked our God fearing nation in the Middle Ages. The Kaiser and his elk are nothing more than their unholy offspring. Oh! Okay, well, they left. We also left, but Journey didn't care about us, so. Okay. Alright, so there goes our manpower. So then, defend this newborn state. Our position is still precarious. The darn Teutons are eyeing our lands as our next conquest, especially now when we liberate ourselves. We have to mobilize our whole population in an effort at containing any threats to our sovereignty. Now we can do this. There you go. Three divisions, not bad. Belarus is taken out, getting taken out by. What do I expect? Allies. How sad. Well, they're still holding on in there, which is okay for them. Bohemia. Oh, the marshal holds on. Look at that. Beran is really quite the baldy. She plays Bohemia sometime. There's so many nations I want to try out in Kaiser Redux. Uh, focus on defense. We're probably going to need that guy, but in the meantime, I want to get... Ooh, artillery would be very nice. Vision attrition, you know. We're going to go with that, get that higher anyway, so... So we're going to get more army XP. That'll be good. Condemn their heresy. Defend the newborn state, of course. And is there anything else we could do? The new industrial center region. A new air force. The next war's army. Oh, we got a lot of work on. Construction speed, yes please. And a good research slot, which is pretty nice. Border force would be good. Industrial expansion. This cost these take a long time to do to get this stuff, but what else we have? Oh. All glories rediscovered the chains of Germanism broke. And Berlin's finally free to rediscover the great glories that we've achieved in our eternal struggle against the Teuton demons. Millions of people are learning once more about the Battle of Grunwald, Prussian homage, and other victories. The paintings of Jean Matejko Matejko and Wojciech Kosak depict uh, depicting those events are being copied and sold at a massive scale. There's also a wave of anti-German violence throughout, throughout the country, rightfully so for all the pain they've brought us. Let's pay homage once more. There we go. Well, we're going to keep going with the letter for Dobosinski. Adam Dobosinski is always an important advocate for the reformation of Poland into a holy state. Our current government lacks a powerful unified figure. Perhaps it would be wise to send Mr. Dobosinski a letter. Actually, I think I'm saying that right, so... That's good. Sympathies from Christian groups is great, and Black Monday, well, it sucks. 950% is really actually very bad for us, but still. What do we have here? Theater training, inventive leader. Pro Ooh, what's that? Huh. That seems like the other stuff can all kind of wait. Academic scholarships. Yeah, I'll probably want to do that one. The 20th anniversary of Polish independence. A celebration around the nation today, citizens of the Polish uh, nation celebrate 20 years of independence. The like, in Poland was eventually created with the signing of the Act of November. Act of November 5th, which forged a new Polish ship from the ashes of a failing Russia. Here's a 20 more years. Or an eternity. Forever and evermore. Because now we already have partial mobilization. Uh, as much as I want offense, I think defense would probably be pretty good right now, too. Actually, we have anything else that's super special? Ooh, that's not bad, actually. But let's go ahead and grab... We're using a lot of artillery anyways. Uh, let's get that guy. And we get the Patriots. The Patriots for the saving for saving Poland, our brave paramilitary group bent on liberating Poland from all dangers threatening it. We should integrate them into our militias. Or into our military. Or both. Probably both. 
new opportunity. Adam Dobosinski. has not been part of the LOP, but always saw them as a valuable group fighting for Poland and God, unexpectedly. He received a letter from the Polish Rebirth Council, praising his devotion and fervor in spreading the word of Christ by sword. At the end of the letter, the councils offered him to become the new leader of the government in Holy Poland. They are the best chance for Poland. Remove Archbishop Kakowski, which showed political power, and add Adam Dobosinski, which we lose political power again, but get more same stability and war support. Ooh. We get 72 more political power, huh? I'm just thinking we're going to need some really fat defense here. But we could solidify control and get more war propaganda. Eh, war propaganda is pretty good to do. Expansion of Polsky Radio as say Racine. Earlier today, the first broadcast could be heard throughout the nation from the newest radio station operated by Polsky Radio SA in Razin. This radio station, the strongest in Europe, has a power of 120 kilowatts and could be heard from hundreds of kilometers away. This long range station will allow all Polish citizens nationwide to hear the news and other important information from the comfort of their own homes. A fantastic achievement. National Daddyism? We love National Daddyism. Um, I really don't know. I I want Division Organization Spock Exception because I love that one so much. But I've seen the the AI literally go, like, get more defense, or just, was it? Plus 10 more entrenchment? Uh, let's see, it's over here. No. that's They get more defense. They got plus 10 entrenchment, and went even more defense. Which is insane. I might go with Guns and Butter. Defense, oh, no, defense, ooh, that's not bad, too. Supply consumption and defense. Counter-revolution, oh! 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 What is this, what? Wait, how do you actually get this route? Okay. Okay, why does it, the one campaign I started doing, a, oh, it's because it's a meme path. That's why. Well, it's not because it's not even 1937. Anyway, it's convened the Holy Council. The first phase of the rebirth of Poland, down the times coming to around, council composed of LOP and other allied groups to determine the future course of our nation. Jesus Christ. Um. Well, you know what? I want to grab more defense. That's not bad. Recovery, it's not bad. Uh, we got time we can spend. Lieberman? Death of Joseph Pilsudski, who has been an influential figure in the Kingdom of Poland since its inception at the end of the Valkyrie, passed away in a sleep late last night. Joseph had been the faith of the Polish military for many years and a strong political activist that had many admired. It has also surely lead the Polish military weekend in the future Poland bleaker. A great loss for the nation. I have a feeling we're going to need as much defense as possible. I kind of want to try it. I'm trying to get even more max entrenchment, just more defense. In general. Well, we'll go for defense for now. Just because Germany, it seems like... Oh, Beck promises to follow Pelsudski. Uh, Joseph Beck, a close associate and friend of the late Joseph Pelsudski, has uh, promised to follow Pelsudski's dream of an intermarium, a strange aspiration, but Beck has started lobbying support for a multicultural intermarium. That stretches from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea. Uh, Pelsudski surely smells upon his soul, but will we ever see it realized? Curious. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Because we need a lot of defense. I'm a big fan of organization and whatnot. But I never get the flat plus 10 entrenchment. Because these divisions, while 27 combat is not bad, we'll probably make them even bigger later. Their entrenchment currently is 5. Plus 10 is a flat 15. That's very strong. Is entrenchment getting more entrenchment better or just more defense? 10% as 25. 10. Hmm, I guess we'll wait and see. I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong about this. But I do want to grab uh, more daily army XP, so... Uh, yeah, defense versus entrenchment. I, li I love supply consumption and division organization, stuff like that, but we'll see. Supply consumption and defense. But I usually choose organization and supply consumption, so I'll do something different. Hmm. You know, maybe we'll go supply consumption and defense. Organization. Hmm. Division organization and... Sorry. Is it going to be Berlin? Because organization is so important, but more defense might be really good too. Like, I'm going to be very defensive here, even if we could use more attack. You know, I always choose organization. I don't want to choose organization this time. Berlin, probably. Oh, our sizzling. Antoni. Zygmunt. Ah, let's go with you. And then what? We do want Leschitz. Dominance. Cavaliers dominant, the Mess Messianist ascendant. So, with this one on the left, drive out the Vipers, 
Fusion of gods of Christ and Slavs. Ooh. Gather relics. The raising a molden fortress. Whether it is an increase in tensions, our military is reviewing old fortresses for renewed service. One of the containers is Maudlin Fortress, a massive fortification on the confluence of the Narwhal and the Vistula River near Warsaw. Constructed by Napoleon in 1806 as a key fortification in his campaign against Russia and later used by the Russians themselves, the fortress nevertheless still commands an important strategic position in the region. Should we renovate it? Renovate it, because you can. Prepare the Great Ritual. Huh. Our forgotten ancestors, 30% more. Ooh. The tribes march forth, the second coming. Now we have unity in Christ. And quest for the grail. Versus the wisdom of the church. Ooh, that's really good. Distributist economy. Ooh. Procession to Wawel Cathedral. We get cores. That's pretty good. New knightly orders. Even more manpower. And attack and war support. The land of our youth over here. We lose political power. Messianist Ascendants. Lithuania, my homeland. Convert Ruthenian brethren. You get even more cores over here. The pen is mighty. Implement Taoianism. You can use a lot of political power. Absorb national socialist communes. Our oldest brothers. Looks like we're going kind of Jewish over there. And there's even more political power. And throw in the righteous king. The Messiah rises. Do I want Jews? Jews are not very offensive, but, well, let's not get too that far. Anyways, um, we're very defensive right now. Unity in Christ. I don't know. Cavaliers? Well, let's see what the event says first. The great sitting of the Cavalier Council. <clears throat> and... The Polish Birth Council together with allied groups has gathered in Warsaw as a united holy council for the purpose of officially setting the course, future course of Poland. The main factions fighting for power are the Gords of Great Lesia, or the GWL mixing the ideas of Negro paganism with a strong devotion to Christ the Wanderer and the legends of Great Lesia Empire. The Cavaliers of Jesus Christ, or the group, desiring a strong Catholic state based on the ideas of crusading and distributism, or the Circle of God's Cause, or KSB, taking their inspiration from the writings of Adam Mit uh, Mikiewicz, and the thought of Andrzej Taoyanski. Uh, Only one question remains now who should be uh, victorious. By following the path of a forgotten ancestors, we will eclipse the world. The Nelly order shall ensure the safety of Poland from all threats. I kind of like that. A union between the most powerful races or nation will bring prosperity. Radical socialism. Because over here, okay, so with the mean path guides. And the following choices, of course. How to get anarchist Poland? We can go with that one. No shadow. This is okay. Undivine anarchist, which is another part of the tree over here. Um, Undivine Comedy, which is kind of interesting to look at. We remove pretty much everything we've got. Ruins of the Old Order. Wow. A Phrenic Future Today. Ramparts of Claros Mons, a humanist cult. Let's so go wild there is no heck. Uh, and you get an interesting amount of stuff. You remove a lot of stuff here, too. Every state claimed by Poland. Whoa. That sounds really awesome. And then you can also have a temporal rift. Go down the Messianist path. And if I pop up, we get a second option. You get some familiar faces. Well, I'm going to be playing this route quite a few times. But I want to go with maybe this route. The Cavaliers, just to try it out. I apologize if we're not going down the route you want us to take. But the Cavaliers of Jesus Christ have been chosen by the Holy Council to carry Poland to a destiny. You're needing Christ. Brothers in Christ. Uh, the wisdom of the church. The church was always home to many great thinkers. For example, our own... Oh, God. Copernicus, a catch-up with the rest of the world, we should invite the learned men of the cloth into our schools and research facilities. Oh, his smile is very unsettling. I like the flag, though. This tributous economy would be very strong. What do we replace? Church education. Oh, Second American Civil War, oh, of course. Procession, procession, procession to Wawel of Avalu Cathedral, the last stand of saints and kings. New Knightly Orders. Ooh. Church Militant. Land of our youth. We lose quite a bit of political power. Sympathy from Christian groups. You actually get no more extra political power. And then Gada Mata die at Polonia. Not bad. I think I want to go to the distributist economy, though. The distributist economic model, based on mutual cooperatives and small business instead of a rampant greed of capitalism and flawed understanding of the world by socialists, <clears throat> was always popular in the Christian circles of... Poland. With the Cavaliers in power, we can finally implement it. Which would be a great, great thing. We need a lot, though. 
Only 12, huh? Pretty good. 1937. Uh, armor trains. Okay, so might as well. We're like them armored. Alright, so we can do export focus. We can do some of this stuff. Um, getting some of these guys would be good too, but I want to grab probably cop. Look at that. Church of Jamaica. Unity in Christ, my, my brothers and sisters. I can also see the quest of the Grail. More stability would be very good as well. Radio, happy 1937, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. Get some more output, please. Oh, and another research slot. Thank goodness. Let's see what this one is. Procession to Wawel Cathedral. It is outright criminal that our people are forbidden from attending masses in one of the most holy places in Polish history. Go, faithful men and women of Poland, to crack out of Galicia and reclaim what is rightfully ours. Absolutely. Nice. Zealous Patriots, not enough manpower ever. Of course, we're lacking a lot of stuff here too, but whatever. Oh. We have. Oh, 18 come with. That's not bad. And Belarus is, of course, taken out. We're back in the Reichs Pact. The Reichs Pact is doing quite well. Of course, without the support of the Union of Britain, the Third International is not going to do very well. Zhuhal really got screwed over. Podresov, your social democrats, whoa. Well, I guess my thing is here is if when they go to war with these guys, we'll go to war with Germany probably. Oh, we're known as Crusader Poland. Oh, that's so nice. So, procession, and then, of course, we might do unity in Christ to help raise our body popularity. Our people united are untied or united in the devotion of Christ. No matter who they are or what their beliefs are, the figure of our Savior is what holds Poland together. Continuing the expansion of the National Radio Network, Polski Radio Asse has begun today broadcasting from the second permanent radio station in Warsaw, bringing their total number of stations to five. These stations and the coverage of Poland proper ensure that radio, Polish radio stations reach Polish people all across Europe, even crossing national boundaries. The Polish voice knows no bounds. And here we are at everyone. Now we are currently helping out, was it, which was Spain? The Carlos Spain, just because we don't like the Kingdom of Spain. We definitely don't, we don't care about the CNT, but we like these guys the least. Or hate them the least, so. And we could do some army XP, but we did do procession when we're doing quests for the Grail. Recently, our militias have come into the ownership of an old medieval map, supposedly created by the local branch of the Templar, and what was Western Poland at the time. If the rumors are true, it might lead to the location of a powerful artifact and the faithful in Galicia. A procession of, holy crap, uh, originally gathered in Warsaw has finally reached Krakow, numbering the hundreds of thousands they demand to be let into the Wawa Cathedral, and for Galicia to return into Poland. With the riots breaking out in other cities of Galicia, the local administration had no other choice than to give in to the demands and merge a country with Poland, so it to return to the lands of kings and saints. With Galicia finally back in Poland, we now have to make sure it's properly integrated into our crusading nation. Let the people of those lands be reminded of the times of St. Stanislaus, of the bishop, the kings laying at Wawel, and inspired by them, too. Follow Christ. Revising the Polish Romanian border, of course. Uh, after the annexation of Galicia and Lodomeria, we have taken control of the Duchy of Bukovina. This territory contains a small Polish minority and many Ukrainians, while the south part of this duchy contains a large Romanian population. The Romanian government has asked us to sell them Bukovina. They already have declared a willingness to pay us substantial sums of money. Are the Romanians pay they can have Bukovina? Go suck yourself, son. We are keeping it forever. Gary boys. Cool. And just double check, make sure. Gary boys, take that off. Actually, if anything, we replace it with like other companies, but do that. I don't want I don't want to have too much cost. Yeah. All you need are really armored cars. That's it, but and maybe some military please be nice, but still. Can you guys actually win there maybe? They do have air superiority, but then we did, then again we did throw down 14 planes here. Extra delegator might be worth it, but we'll see. What is this? Oh, Fade Western Galicia. Oh, you know what? We'll take the hit. This is dumb. I should have done the other one immediately, but whatever. Fade Western Galicia. Liberate them. Oh, oh, we just. Okay, so somebody didn't consider Poland territory. Yeah, okay. We get some of the free cores immediately. Nice. Very nice. Of course, eventually I do want to make like all these like 100% infrastructure when we run out of things to build, of course. When we run out of things to build, um, you know, make some armored cars. You can make one, maybe. Maybe. Go and hold because they're attacking us, anyways. Level 2, not bad. Not bad. Um, anything else? Occupy Greater Poland. With the German Empire in turmoil, we have a great opportunity to seize parts of Silesia and the entire Greater Poland. 
There's very little the German Empire can do to stop us at this point. Oh, rejoin the Entente. Interesting. Quest for the Grail, of course, my friends. I, I, I want to see what this is like. Sounds like a lot of fun. I don't want to do this yet, because that's a lot of political power we're going to lose, and I don't want that. And throw in the Righteous King, though. Oh, good God, yes. New Knightly Orders. With the victory of the Cavaliers and their ascent to power, many new Knightly Orders have been formed. Brothers of St. Stanislaus, Knights of the St. Queen Jadwiga, Cavaliers of Jesus Christ, and Countess others are now ready to defend Poland and crush her enemies. Ah, there goes the Falcon War. Falcon War. I'll get some more of that, too. Alright, so... We've said no, and they don't like us because of that. We like the Serbs. Because we have a common enemy to fight, these guys. So... Austria-Hungary. Actually, we're not really pissed off at them too much. Well... Social Democrats, huh? What if we send you volunteers as well? That might work. Oh, they don't like us, though. Bulgaria doesn't care for us too much, though. We'll see. These guys will be in our way, so... Oh, search for the Holy Grail, finally. Our guesses were right. The map of Nice Templars brought us to the right to a small chapel in the Chulwarzyshini uh, near the Oder River. The main detachment of Order of Nice questing was guarding the outside perimeter to not allow any German patrol to stop our mission. A specialized group of archaeologists at the same time was digging inside the chapel to rediscover any new clue that might be hidden there. But what they found exceeded their wildest ideas. The true Holy Grail was always right in our noses. It once was once Poland. God has given us a great gift today. The unyielding brothers of the Grail. Holy crap. How much defense do we have? Plus 15% more and more pop. Oh my god, I love this. Obviously, this path is not very balanced, but I don't care right now. As long as we're not fighting us, that's what I care about the most. Crusader Poland, not thick enough. We'll get there. Ah, Belgrade, good. Led by some guy, like Zibnigvia. Zibnigniu. Yes, exactly. Do the best you can. Distraction, because we can. Disperse industry and grab that. Oh, I guess we don't have five reach slots. We have only four. That's fine. Whatever. Can you win here, maybe? No? Hold. Not bad. Not bad at all. Look at all that army XP we're getting. Could be better, of course, but whatever. Oh, you're up there now, huh? Kind of sucks. Getting a good amount of air XP, though. That's good. In the meantime, all wear, all weather. Yeah, I might go with that one. After this one, Perkoon, not bad. Soft attack and breakthrough. Artillery, ooh. Um, motorized is not bad either. Uh, that's not bad. Production cost for that. Actually, I'm not too set that. Uh, you know what? I want more defense. So we're going to go with the CSW because we can get more defense from... No, no, no. I mean, we'll get with this one because we get more defense from... Toad Artillery. Something... I don't know. I'm focused for so much on defense. Even though we're a Crusader Nation right now. Literally a Crusader Nation. But Whatever. Also, we did go down Grand Battle Plan because that's what the game set up for us, so I'm kind of okay with that. Deep Defend, you doing a great job. Mm. Tip of the Spear. States are the military, it's not bad. Probably Heritage. Could use Cavalry quite a bit. Quick Improvisation. Daily command power gain, land reduction cost goes down by 5%. Army XP gain. Honestly, the state serves the military. Sounds like the most politically viable one for us. Because as well, I like all these. Ooh, but you get entrenchment speed. Um, and we do want a lot of entrenchment. The state serves the military. Honestly, we're Crusader Nation. I'm going to go with that one. That's something I would probably usually wouldn't choose, but... Yeah, I think, I think we kind of have to do that one. Yeah. Alrighty. Sure, why not? We might get some anti-tank as well. We'll see. Can only get 1.63 every single day. Not enough. And Church Militant? Yes, please. 
So now I know that the Polish Church supports our cause. The faithful have to be mobilized for the coming crusade. The priests and chaplains have to become warriors. We all are united as militants of the church. Oh, you betcha. Only 33 factories right now. Oh, and we... Oh. Oh, they actually went to war, didn't they? That's not good. Oh, did we get a circle here? Okay, it looks really bad, but we did not get a circle here yet. As long as we don't lose that tile, we'll be okay. What happened to our serving divisions? Did they die? They might have died. Yeah, I think they died. Holy crap, I didn't even realize Austria. Yeah, okay, we don't trust the Austrians. I'm all bad. This does not look very good. What are we missing? Artillery and sport equipment. Are we gonna lose? Just lose Bucharest. Mm, oh, you can always recall it. Volunteers would be nice. I gotta pay a little bit more attention. To wow, holy crap. Austria is really doing some serious damage to him. Get as much army XP as you possibly can right now. Okay, not dead yet. Which about to be? Okay, let's let's, uh, let's get our guys back. There we go. Woo! We lost one division. I don't want to lose another one. You guys are holding up very well, though. Nice. All right. Something different. Artillery. Yeah, why not? We could. Why not? New Nelly orders. And get a lot of manpower back. Actually, not that much since we lost a whole bunch up here or whatever it was. And then enthrone the righteous king. Now with Poland becoming a true and zealous nation, we can do what was always meant to happen. The moment for the enthronization of the Christ as the king of Poland is now. 37, it's almost 38. Might as well get more research speed real quick. Ooh, I'm so glad they added that in. Let's not lose that division. Bulgaria got lucky. They got so lucky. Paul's annexed. Um... I don't want to help with the Germans, so... The Teuton is our enemy. Wow, Bulgaria got so lucky. They got so, so, so lucky. Oh, they got to do with Macedonian rebels now, though. They got so incredibly lucky. Oh, they went to war with these guys, too. Oh, crap. Albania looking like they got a little bit of a tip extender. Oh, is this Fiume? Oh, yeah. The modern Blackbeard. Not bad. You all hold the line as best you can. Which will join Entente. Um... Go with you. A bit old Pilaki. Pilaki. Go. Cool. Ecuador's gone. Jam the core. And we can do that stuff too. I'm not sure how long this campaign's gonna last, really. But, you know what? Let's go to the next war's army. Most of Poland's army is still using equipment for the Valkyrie. There's a new world coming, and we must be prepared for it. Pretty much. I just want you to defend. That's literally all I want you to do. And now they're in the thick of it. Oh boy. Heinz Guderian. Ivan Konev. Salud. Ah, they have Russians over here too. You know, as long as they keep attacking, that's all I care about. And throne the righteous king. Yes. Can use more motorized. Guns are fine for now. We can lower by one maybe if we really wanted to. Um, yeah, so this should really shoot up our army XP quite a bit. Which is nice. Happy 1938, everybody. Let's grab some more coordination immediately. Throw one on the inner war armored cards, and we don't really need them for now, but it's good to make up a small little stockpile. We need way more guns in the future, too, but whatever. So for minus four already, we'll trade one away with the Koreans. Yes. Poland and Korea have always been very, very close neighbors. Very, very strong relation. 
historically, of course. Not bad. We attack and defend at the same time. That'd be really good. And naval stuff, anti subs. Yeah, do that one. Very nice. And the communards, we're just gonna hang out here too. Not bad. I guess we could put so, throw on some scavengers. We should get some support AA as well. Support AA would be very, very nice to have. Yeah, look at that. Greek army overthrows the government. Well, good job, Greece. You lost the war, and now you have a coup. Authoritarian Democrats. Michael the First. Red Flood. Never heard about that. If you want to hear about that, though, please go ahead. Conditions loosened. They're still, they're still invading the Ottoman Empire. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with this timeline, man? And then... I do think it might be worth it. Railway guns? Can't really afford those. Logistics would be nice, though. Technically, Bulgaria will still be a brother in Christ, wouldn't he? Hmm. Wow. So, th this Spanish division is going insane. You know, it must be crazy being a militia a soldier, but, you know, I'm not sure it would be that insane to go that wild. But who am I? I'm just a guy on the internet that somehow you're still watching. And if you're still watching, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. School of Defense. Yeah, I want to try that one. Might not be worth it. We'll see. The next war is... Next war is army. Combine arms. Nothing here that gives us, like, daily army... Ooh, another research slot, though. Entronization of the Christ the King. In a grand ceremony carried by the Wawel Cathedral in the Royal Castle in Krakow, leading archbishops together with Adam Dobosinski and the representatives of major knightly orders have done what they've always been bound to happen. Jesus Christ, our Savior and Protector in Heavens, has been crowned as the eternal King of Poland and the Polish people. The occasion was attended by millions of faithful from the whole country. Now with Christ as King, we shall triumph over the demons of the world. Do we give praise to you? Look at that political power. Wow. Christ the King. Oh my goodness. The most and holy and sacred King Christ, eternal sovereign of Poland. Yes. New central industrial region. Or do we go with cast the demons back to uh, Abaddon? With the total spiritual rebirth of the old Poland finally accomplished, we can turn the gates of those who caused us so much anguish thought th through the ages. Our new glorious Savior will lead us to destroy the demonic Teton menace and banish them back in the darkest pits of heck they came from for Poland and for God. And subs. Oh, they're on the they're on the offense. Can you actually win here? You might be able to actually. Huh. Go figure. Yeah, you're looking pretty weak right there, man. Don't lose that division yet. We do want to come over here, though. Eh, they're doing okay. Up next, RWD. Ooh. Fighter airspeed. Agility, I've heard, is still best. I could be wrong now, though, but... Actually, can't go to war economy, darn it. Um, we don't need to get that one yet. So we're only 38, actually, so... Probably getting more daily air XP would be good as well. Hmm... <clears throat> We have a lot of casts. If anything, we'll make some fighters for defense and whatnot, so that'd probably be better. You guys actually are taking... Okay, what the heck. If we do want to go to war, though, we do have to realize that the Dorna Age of Boom will probably declare war on us. And that we need way more divisions for the entire Rex Pact, so... We are not in shape yet to do anything. Which does suck, so give us some time. And unless these guys really do really, really, really well, we probably won't go to war soon. But you never know. But you never know. 88% of the way towards becoming an infantry leader. Not bad. Yeah, I just see, see what that one does. The line of your youth is not bad. I definitely want to wait for this stuff, though. Anything on the left side of this focus tree is pretty much done. Um, so we'll probably focus on a lot of this stuff over here. Kickstart the new navy. Nice. 90%, very good. Over here, anything special happening? I do want Fortress Poland, though, but we'll see. Can you guys actually win there? 
You might actually be able to win. What the heck is going on? Why are you so weak right now, Germany? Indus military, industrial military complex. Back to the Valkyrie, of course. Well, cast him back. And then we'll do this one, of course. Poland is a nation of farms and agriculture, but if we are into the modern age, we must become a nation of factories and industry. Centralizing your infrastructure is the first step towards a fully a full industrial revolution. Uh, modernized Congress Poland. Um, infrastructure Black Monday. Industrial slot or savage border forts. Ooh, defensive tactics. More defense and offensive fighting force. Ooh. Uh, new Polish worker. I kind of like modernized Congress Poland. Congress Poland has long been an agricultural center of the nation. However, that land could be better used in order to create more factories for our war effort. I do want more military factories, though. But my goodness, it takes a while to get down there. New Polish worker. We must introduce a new culture of hard work and strong men in order to fill our factories. A new Polish worker will be the backbone of our industry. Uh, industrial expansion. But funding the expansion of the industrial corporations across the country will further increase the industrial capacity of the nation. Munitions districts. By setting aside specific districts in each city for each military and munitions production, we can create special uh, infrastructure which facilitates the production of arms and improve our industrial capacity. And where's that's a glowing uh, railway. Poland sits in the center of Europe, which allows a strong opportunity to present ourselves as a railway hub of Europe. These new rail lines can prove a viable asset in encouraging trade with the neighboring countries. Pensowewi Witorni Uzbrojinia. The group is an industrial conglomerate that controls a large portion of Polish arms manufacturing. Increasing their authority and giving them leniency in the law will allow them to further strengthen Polish arms manufacturing. Not a bad idea. <clears throat> Stalowa Wola. Factories are, on the way, are the way of the future. We need more of them if we're made them competitive on the world stage and contemporary assembly lines. Even with new factories populating our cities, we still need to improve our concepts, concepts of how they should work. By introducing more modern assembly lines, we can improve the efficiency of our factories countrywide. But I think we'll end it there because we've gone pretty far and I like what we've seen so far, which is pretty flipping awesome. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will unite more of Poland with our brother in Christ, Christ the King. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.